Hi, I'm Emily Doran, Extension Assistant in the Pesticide Safety Education Program at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln. Using personal protective equipment, or PPE, reduces the risk of pesticide poisonings for you as an applicator. Some sort of PPE is required by most pesticide labels. You have a lot of options when it comes to PPE, so how do you know what to use? The best place to start is by reading the pesticide label for specific PPE requirements. Let's take a few minutes to look at different types of PPE and how to learn to properly use them. PPE requirements will vary from label to label, and some may not have requirements at all. If the label doesn't have any PPE, we recommend at a minimum wearing a long sleeve shirt, long pants, socks, and shoes. You could also wear a disposable coveralls like a Tyvek suit to protect your legs and arms. Gloves should also be worn even if it's not listed on the label. When it comes to gloves, there are a variety to choose from and you have to pick the right type for the job to reduce your risk of exposure to pesticides. Here we have gloves not to wear. Latex and polyethylene do not offer enough protection and line gloves can absorb the pesticide and continually expose you as you apply it. What you should wear is unlined, chemical-resistant gloves. We recommend nitrile, neoprene, and butyl. In general, the thicker the glove, the more protection it has. So far, the options I've shown have all been reusable gloves that would need to be properly cleaned after each use. However, there are chemical-resistant disposable gloves like this nitrile glove. The advantage of disposable gloves offer is that there is no need to wash after each use Instead, you can simply throw them away. Keep in mind, the thicker the disposable glove, the better protection too. The type of PPE required may be different depending on what you are doing with the pesticide. Those involved in the mixing and loading process often have higher PPE requirements than those applying pesticides. This is because mixer and loaders are exposed to concentrated pesticides, while those applying the pesticides and cleaning equipment may be exposed to diluted pesticides. In addition to the minimum PPE requirements we've just discussed, an apron, safety glasses, or face shield and respirator may be required. Some things to remember about choosing an apron. When you work with highly toxic pesticides, it needs to be chemical resistant and should cover the entire front of your body from your chest to above your knees. The safety glasses must have brow and side guards and fit properly to protect your eyes. You can also use safety glasses that easily fit over your eyeglasses. Another option for protecting eyes is a face shield. A face shield prevents pesticides from coming in contact with your eyes as well as your entire face. There are a number of different types of respirators. We will be focusing today on half face cartridge respirators. This half face cartridge respirator prevents you from inhaling the chemical when applying pesticides. This black organic vapor cartridge is required for filtering out pesticides. When applying pesticide dust or granules, place the dust covers over the cartridges. These come with the respirator. Store mask and cartridges in Ziploc bag to keep them in good condition and the mask clean. Replace cartridges as needed, such as after eight hours of continuous use. Do seal checks and ampule testing before each use to ensure proper fit and to determine if the cartridges are fitting properly. Be sure to clean respirators after each use to remove pesticide residue. Read each pesticide label for the specific requirements for mixer and loader and applicators. There are other PPE items that can be useful for applicators in specific situations. Items like rubber boots for use in turf application situations where you may be walking through the treated area, head covering when making applications above your head like spraying trees or tall vegetation or hanging plants in a greenhouse. After the pesticide application, it is important to properly clean your PPE and yourself. Use soap and water to clean all of your PPE before you store it for the next use. Also, be sure to wash yourself with soap and water as soon as possible after the application. The most important thing to remember about PPE is that you have to use the appropriate equipment for each job. You can purchase these items at many locations. For a list of suppliers, refer to the NEB Guide on Protective Clothing and Equipment for Pesticide Applicators. As always, remember to read the label for specific PPE requirements for each product.